Hey, good day and God bless you. We want to welcome you to the Daily Reminder. We want to encourage you to hang out here with us just for a few moments. Moments. Once again, this, this gives us an opportunity to just remind you of things that you do know or uh, have known. Or maybe this will be fresh for you, but once again, it just gives us an opportunity to share a thought, a verse, a couple verses. Hopefully bring something that's going to encourage you. And uh, you can just, it'll just stay with you through the day. So there's this verse in Psalms 119 that I absolutely love. Love the whole chapter. But in the 49th verse, listen to what the psalmist says. He says, remember the word to your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. Remember the word to your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. When you, when you look at the word remember, it just means to recall. It means to, uh, once again, to bring something back to the mind. But when you look at the word remember in English, this is very interesting to me. It carries the connotation, again, this is in English, the word remember carries the connotation of reattaching or reconnecting something that has been cut off or something that has been amputated. Now, I just want to say this to you. I don't think that God forgets anything. I don't think, I don't believe that God needs anybody to remind him of what he has declared, what he has said, what he has penned out by men inspired by the Holy Spirit. I don't think God forgets anything. So it's, it's intriguing to me that the psalmist says, Lord, remember the word to your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. Listen, we live in some very interesting times, you would agree with me, and there are some things that um, are pretty heavy uh, certainly that are coming up on the nation of the United States, but even globally, some of the things that we are facing. Things are being shaken, and there is war and rumor of war, famine, there is earthquakes. All of the things that Jesus, in his kindness, um, shared with us, preached to us, um, that was going to happen just prior to his return. And what can happen is, if we're not careful, because all of us carry promises, all of us carry something that God has dropped in our spirit, and when, when the Bible says, remember the word to your servant, I'm not sure that he was, I'm not sure that the psalmist was saying, Lord, I need you to remember this. I think that what the psalmist was saying, Lord, listen, because of the place that I'm in right now, things have been difficult, there's been storms, there's been emotional upheaval and turmoil. turmoil. Often, if we're not careful, we'll allow the enemy to steal what God has put in us. It carries us. I think that it's possible that what the psalmist was saying, when he said, Lord, remember your word to your servant, I think he was saying, Lord, that word, that promise, that thing that has carried me, somewhere along the line I let it get cut off, I let it get amputated, things have been difficult, and somewhere along the line I've just lost sight of it. But I'm asking you to remember me with that word, reattach it to me, reconnect it to me. Again, God forgets absolutely nothing. Nothing. And his word, listen, his word is hope for us. Remember the word to your servant upon which you've caused me to hope. It is hope for us. The word means hope, but it means to hope with expectation. Let God today reattach, reconnect, remember you with the word that he spoke to you, the words that he has spoken to you, the promises of God, the things that he said he was going to do, that he's never changed his mind about. And as he begins to remind you and remember you with those promises, understand this, it's going to bring hope, but not only a hope, it's a hope that hopes in expectation. And I think that's clear. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.